Dear colleagues, here is the new episode of our Bizaf News Digest that should surprise you with great acquisitions, recently delivered new aircraft and high-end technologies. Let's go! Signature Aviation agreed with TAC Air FBO Holding to purchase their 16 stations in the United States, including hangar complex at Arizona's Scottsdale Airport, adding some 65,000 square feet of area to the existing Signature facility there. Signature flight support FBO chain that makes part of Signature Aviation has more than 200 locations globally. The acquisition includes six stations where the TAC Air is sole services provider also. These are Buffalo Niagara New York International Airport, Maggie Tyson Airport in Knoxville, Tennessee, Texarkana Regional and Fort Smith Regional Airports in Arkansas, Shreveport, Louisiana Region Airport, and Rick Husband Amarillo Texas International Airport. There are some news that sounds hilarious at first sight. Airbus performed the first ever A380 flight powered by 100% sustainable aviation fuel, delivered mainly from cooking oil and other waste fats. The flight lasted about 3 hours, operating one Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engine. The aircraft used 27 tons of stuff provided by Total Energies. This is the third Airbus aircraft type to fly on 100% SAF over the course of 12 months. Maybe green solutions are closer than we think? VistaJet, one of the leaders of business aviation in Europe, achieved 10% of total global 7,500 fleet among other companies. This makes company the largest operator of Bombardier Global 7500 in the world. Vista plans to welcome up to a total of 17 Global 7500 aircraft into its fleet by the end of 2022. Thomas Floor, VistaJet's founder and chairman, commented that they were extremely proud of that landmark moment with Bombardier as they grow global 7500 fleet and meet the growing demand for ultra-long-range solutions. VistaJet was committed to a sustainable aviation future and supporting the global business industry with that expansion. Eric Martel, Bombardier's president and chief executive officer, said he was thrilled to celebrate the 100th delivery of the Global 7500 aircraft with their valued customer VistaJet. Alta Aviation unveiled an upgrade of its cadence switch panel and in-flight entertainment system that allows the passenger of a specific VIP seat to select an acoustic mode to customize their audio experience. Celebrating its 25th anniversary this year, Alto Aviation highlighted the new MySound optimization capability at the Aircraft Electronics Association Convention's new product introduction session today in New Orleans. My sound is available as a retrofit and for new cadence installations and gives the user the choice of three acoustic models using a cadence VIP switch panel. The modes are full cabin audio, VIP stereo or VIP focused digital surround sound. Aviapage's partner Airwallex opens partnership program. Join Airwallex platform through the link in flight calculator and benefit with easy managed electronic wallet and multi currency accounts, saving up to 80% on international transactions. Aviapage's team wishes everyone a good week. Bye bye!